Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you all a campus tour, right, of um, the University of York. It's currently like August, so there's not many people here, so I can give you all like a full campus tour and we're going to start with East Campus right now. So on East Campus here, we have the Ron Cook Hub, which is like the central area. So at the Ron Cook Hub, um, basically you have lessons there. Um, if you lose your key card, you can go there for replacement. It's open 24-7. It's one of the only, one of two receptions open 24-7 in the University of York, right? Um, it's basically like the central hub and there's like a cafe inside. And yeah, that's all about it. Now let me go to Langwith College, which is this way. Yep, so this is uh, Langwith College to my left here. Over here, you have the Piazza building, right? And then um, if you go a bit here, that's the glass house. Right, the glass house is sort of like a pub where you all can come and chill and sit down and talk, have a beer, right? And the prices there are cheap. And yeah, let's go and check out the glass house. This is the glass house, but this is also where you can wash your clothes and all. There's a washing machine and dryer right inside this building, right? There's also a free cash withdrawal. And the one right beside it over here is the glass house. Now the glass house holds many student events and it's a student run bar. So the prices of the drinks are cheap, right? I've been to a few events over here. There's even football shown over here. So you can watch football matches. And yeah, it's actually a very good place to sit down and chill. Um, as you can see here, these are like the language buildings. These are more like a house kind of building, but those are like more like a flat building. So the type of accommodation that you have uh, varies. And if you just go a bit further down here, you will have Constantine building, which is where I live my first year. I'm just going to use this as my microphone. Right, as I was saying, this is the building which I lived in, B1 flat 3, I will point it out to you, right, um, this is the form that we use, this is where we wash our clothes, um, dry them, there's like a pool table, table tennis table, and other facilities over here, you can use it to chill, right, normally me and my flatmates, we usually hang out in the forum during the first two terms. And I've also hosted a few parties over here. If you've seen my vlog, um, you'd know that Polisha's birthday party was held at this forum. Right, and then now we're going to go to um, further east so that we can go and see York Sports Village, which is the gym that is on East Campus. Right, so yeah, follow me. Here we are on East Campus. This is a York Sports Village, right? There's many facilities over here. Um, there's the gym, there's a swimming pool, there's a sauna, there's like futsal courts over there. And there's a very huge pitch over there, which is called the 3G. Um, in terms of pricing, this is the more expensive gym compared to the one on West Campus. That's because um, you're getting access to a swimming pool and many other facilities for that. And this is definitely the more modern one compared to the one on West Campus. Um, I think the prices for the gym currently is about £36, £35 per month compared to the one on West Campus, which is about £26. Right, and yeah, I'll talk more about the difference between the gyms when you go to the West Campus. So this is the Piazza building. So this is where, like I said, we have our college meals. There's a library over here, right? We also have lessons, right? Not for me, I had some, a few foundation friends, they had lessons over here. There's even a Starbucks cafe that's open until like about 3.30 p.m. Um, yeah, and if you look on this side over here, there'll be the mail room, right? And... Yep, as I said, I didn't know what building this was. Apparently, this is the building of the Institute for Safe Autonomy. And one last thing was, this was the building where we had our Freshers' Week orientation talk, right? So if I can, if you look at a clip from my Freshers' Week vlog, this was where we had it in the Piazza building. Yeah, this is the Ron Cook Hub. Like I said, this is where you can ha get your replacement key if you lose it or you get locked out of your room. Right, the reception here is open 24-7. There's also lessons over here and there's also a cafe, right? And over here, you have this um, study port which you can book and you can study and it's right beside the lake. This is the lake that travels and spans across all the way towards the Piazza and towards Constantine, right? And this over here is the Piazza building, right? And yeah, let's just walk a bit further to show a different angle of it. This is Goodrick College. Right behind me, this is the common room for Goodrick College. Um, over here, on this side, we have the Law and Management Building. And if you just go a bit further down, you have Ann Lister. The design of Goodrick College is definitely much different from that of Langwith and Constantine in terms of the colour scheme. Um, in terms of the inside of how it looks like, I'm not so sure, but I feel it's the same. Just a kitchen and a flat. It's around the same thing. 
Um, yeah, as you can just see a bit further in front, those are the two new buildings, Ann Lister and David Cato, right? And the one right here on the left, this is the Law and Management Building. Yeah, so on my right over here, we have the Theatre, Film and Television Building. And then right behind me over here, this is Ann Lister, which is the new accommodation, right? Oh, this is called a Catalyst, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is called a Catalyst on my right. And on my left, this is Ann Lister College, which is the new accommodation. And if you just go a bit further down, this building is called David Cato, which is the new accommodation for the incoming 2022-2023 um, students. So by September, this should be done and you all can stay in it. David Cato and Ann Lister look exactly the same. Right, they're just sort of like uh, sister buildings. Um, right in front of me, Anlister, there's a big common room. But this seems like the only way in and out of Anlister. It's like a big hub. There's like a pool table inside. A lot of sofas. I know. Things that you see in York. Yes, you go walking your horse. Right, and then that is Nisa over here. There's a few stores over here. There's a barber shop over there. Right, and then this is the, the college, Ron Cook Hub over here, Langwith, Goodrick. Yeah, and back to bosses. So, if you go around the corner, we have Unity Health, which is like a uh, doctor's place. There's Greg's, which is where I work. There's Red Chili and Indigo Sun. Yep. So Nisa, uh, I wouldn't recommend buying all of your groceries from Nisa all the time because it's very expensive, right? Maybe just one or two items every week. Otherwise, if you keep on buying groceries from there, you're, you're going to spend a lot of money, right? And uh, I do recommend coming to Greg's because that's where I work. And if you do come and come by, you know, just say hi, right? Literally, look look how many geese there are. Like, just look at it. All right, you see? Uh, let me just change the camera. Oh, there's a wasp. We have uh, Andrea over here feeding them. Bro, they look so shocked. Bro, you wanna be famous? Do you wanna be famous? Bro, they're about to fight. Like and subscribe.